it's a really tragic loss for the squad and for the uh, and for the community as a whole. Campbell County is mourning tonight after 47 year old Johnny Bolin passed away. His team says he was working with his boom truck when it tipped over and pinned him. He later died at UT Medical. Bolin was the captain of the Jellicoe Rescue Squad. And Gabrielle Hayes joins us now with how he's being remembered. Gabrielle. Well, Beth, members of the Jellicoe Rescue Squad say this is a loss radiating across the county and East Tennessee. And while it's hard to say goodbye, what he meant to the community is something they will never forget. As photos of Captain John Bolin were projected on the walls. It's overwhelming just to see so many people come to pay their respects. His family, friends, and dozens in the community paid tribute to who he was. All the members are, are feeling the effect of it. Family and friends say Bolin passed away on Tuesday after his boom truck tipped over and pinned him. He was able to call for help but later died at UT Medical. It is very difficult. Dwight Osborne is the mayor of Jellicoe. He's also a member of the rescue squad, something Bolin loved so much. You know, the rescue squad was his life. It's, it's an all-volunteer rescue squad, but he treated it like it was a full-time job. Bolin was the captain, a title Osborne says was more like a calling, a way of life. He was really uh, eager to help and, and really good at rescue situations. On Friday, just days after Bolin passed, people filtered in and out of the rescue squad building, but the captain's reach was so much bigger. We need to take, uh, venture to take a guess at how many people he has touched. When it comes to lasting memories, Osborne is lost for words. It's hard to put your finger on just one. But there's one thing he knows for sure. No situation that was overwhelming to him. He would, he would jump into anything. Willing to jump into anything or willing to help anyone. A legacy the hearts Captain Bolin touched will never forget. Now, funeral services for Captain Bolin are tomorrow. The family asks that flowers be sent to the Harp Funeral Home. Beth. What a turnout to pay tribute to him tonight.